Hi, so I want to talk a little bit about electric cars. I've been driving an electric car for about seven years. And behind me is our 2013 Nissan LEAF. The Nissan LEAF is a pure electric car. It's not a hybrid. It takes absolutely no gasoline. You just plug it in and go. And this was our family's car, only car, for about four years. And we're a family with two young kids, and this basically met 99% of our driving needs. Later on, we did purchase a second vehicle, which was also electric, and that became our longer range vehicle. So the Nissan LEAF now, we just basically use just for our local commuting. So in this video, I'm gonna share why I think the Nissan LEAF makes an ideal second car in a two car household, and is a perfect way to transition to a cheaper, more reliable and earth friendly mode of transportation. So I wanna start out by talking about the many benefits electric cars have over gasoline cars. The first being maintenance. Electric cars require very little maintenance. There's, you don't really have the moving parts, spark plugs, timing belts, oil changes. It's none of that that you have to do with an electric car. In the seven years since we've owned the Nissan LEAF, the only maintenance we really had to do to it was get a new set of tires at about 40,000 miles, and there was a rear wiper blade that had deteriorated. And that was it. With an electric car, there's far less moving parts, there's far less complexity, and that, complex, that lack of complexity means less costly repairs. Electric cars are cheaper to operate. Electric is cheaper than gasoline. It's just a simple fact. And if you can charge from solar, your charging cost, your driving cost is essentially nothing. Electric cars are convenient. There's no more stopping to pump gas. Pumping gas can be a hassle. With an electric car, you just plug it in when you get home, and in the morning, it's charged with what you need. Electric cars are better for the environment, and that's indisputable. I'm not going to go into it in this video, but if you want to know more information about that, I will link to a video down below in the description. Electric cars are just fun to drive. They accelerate quickly, without hesitation, without making a sound. They're comfortable and they drive pretty much like any car. Now, with all that said, the Nissan LEAF does have some limitations, and mainly with the range or how far it can go on a single charge. Now, in our house, the Nissan LEAF pretty much fits a very specific niche. It's our local commuting car. We use it for taking our kids to school, kind of the local errands. It has a range for us of about 70 miles. Now 70 miles might not seem like a lot, but it really is perfect for the kind of driving that we do in our local area. And I think if you look at your driving habits, you'll find that for the most part, you pretty much drive less than 70 miles in a day. They say that the average person drives under 30 miles a day. So what do we do for those longer trips that the Nissan LEAF can't make? Well, that's where having a second car, a longer range vehicle, whether that is another EV or a conventional car, kind of fills in the gap. You take the longer range car for your longer trips and you use the LEAF for your kind of local short commutes around town. Most households in the US are kind of like ours, where we have two cars. So if you already have two cars, why not make one of them be an earth friendly, cheap to run, no maintenance electric vehicle? It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So what about charging? And is that a big hassle? Well, the truth is most electric car owners charge their cars at home. Just like with your smartphone, you just plug it in and go about your business. In the morning, your car is charged with enough range for all your daily driving needs. Now the Nissan LEAF comes with a charger. It's a 110 charger. It's right down here. It has a 110 socket, so that just plugs into a regular wall socket. And that'll put in about five miles of range into the car per hour while it's charging. It's not really enough and it's not adequate for most people's needs. And my recommendation would be to get a freestanding charger like this. This is a level two charger, which runs off of 220 volts. And this will put in about 25 to 30 miles of range into the car. And this comes at a little bit of a cost depending on the kind of electrical work you would need to get it installed but it would range anywhere from maybe six hundred to twelve hundred dollars to put in a charger like this now we rarely require any charging outside of our own home charging very once in a while if we're making a trip outside of the range of the nissan leaf we will have to stop and charge thankfully there is a growing network of chargers that can help get you on your way I will go into the nuances of charging and taking trips with the LEAF in a future video. Now, what about the lithium ion batteries that are in these vehicles and do they degrade over time? Well, the truth is yes, lithium ion batteries do degrade and age as the car gets older and you do lose a little bit of range each year. Um, 
in our leaf, we've had this for seven years, I would estimate we've lost about 15%. So when we first bought the car, it had a range of about 84 miles, and now we're down to about 70. And even with that 15% loss of range over the course of driving about 50 plus, 50,000 plus miles, the 70 miles of range is more than adequate for our, our driving needs. So range loss over time really isn't an issue and it can be mitigated by kind of taking good care of your battery and, and having good charging habit. And that's something, a, a topic for another video. So why do I recommend a used Nissan Leaf? Well, the Nissan Leaf has been available in the United States since I think 2011. It's got a, a long track record, it's very reliable, has a very high owner satisfaction. It's also one of the more affordable and available used EVs. The used EV market is just kind of starting out now. There's not a lot of choices yet. So for between $6,000 and $10,000, you can get on board with a used EV that will provide you with reliable, cheap, efficient, and an earth-friendly mode of transportation. I think the used Nissan Leaf is one of the best car deals out there. Okay, so that's as far as I'm gonna go in this video. I hope this video helped you envision how adding an electric car to your household can make a lot of sense, financially, environmentally, practically speaking. In my next video, I'm going to talk about what to look for when buying a used leaf. If you have any questions or comments, or would just like to say hi, just leave it below in the comments below. And to be notified of my next video, please consider subscribing and hitting that alert icon. And until next time, thanks for watching.